Africa is home to a wide variety of wildlife and landscapes than any other region in the world. Of our 129 World Heritage Sites, 40 are recognized for their outstanding natural qualities and another five are both natural and cultural sites. These sites are spread across the continent from the Cape to Cairo and cover every biogeographical region. From the prehistoric cave art and eroded sandstones forming forests of rock at the Tassili Najar Plateau in southeast Algeria at the borders of Libya, Niger, and Mali, to the Sudano Sahelian savanna of the Waali Penjari complex, a transnational property in West Africa, to the endangered Virunga National Park, home to mountain gorillas, to the most spectacular waterfalls in the world, the Mosi Oatunya Victoria Falls, to the highest point in Africa, the Kilimanjaro in East Africa the African Convention on the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources highlights the growing importance of natural resources and pays special attention to borderlands where the management and exploitation of resources often generates conflicts. The convention stipulates the harmonization and coordination of policies in the fields of environmental protection, conservation, and sustainable use of natural resources. Within the framework of African Union border program, borders are understood as instruments to promote peace, security, stability, and as zones of facilitation of regional integration and sustainable development. The prevalence of transboundary natural resources is an opportunity for the development of borderlands, an informed development led by border communities. Cross-border community-based initiatives can significantly contribute to the effectiveness of biodiversity conservation efforts while helping to improve the livelihoods of local people and indeed the livelihoods of all. As we mark the 11th Africa Border Day, it's time to pay special attention to how our shared natural resources can move us towards a better, more united Africa and work towards making this a reality.